uh, agreement provides as well that uh, 122 of the homes at the Hess site will be transferred and the title deed will be transferred to the government of the Virgin Islands, as well as the community center and the vocational technical school at the site. 330 acres of land to the east of the refinery will also be deeded to the government of the Virgin Islands and some provisions on the portions of that land we do intend to put wind generations as part of our ongoing effort to infuse renewable energies into uh, the production of electricity in the territory to bring costs down. Already, Arclight has seen the business opportunity and have discussed an interest in putting an LNG or a liquid natural gas facility at that site. Uh, if that should happen and they pursue that opportunity, we can tell you without dispute that, again, the cost of electricity will significantly fall in this territory. And the opportunities that we've been providing here is giving us the option, and we're going to utilize the option, where we're going to begin new power generation on the south shore of St. Croix so that we can phase away a long period of time generation from the Richmond plant and move production to the uh, industrial part of, of the island. Uh, they will provide a half a million dollars annually for charitable contributions of which 100,000 must go to scholarships. We have changed for the purposes of this contract the requirement of residency to ensure that a person must demonstrate that their business or themselves have been living and operating in the Virgin Islands for at least one year to be able to be considered uh, a resident of the Virgin Islands for the purposes of working at the facility and uh, being on the management team. Arclight has committed to work with the University of the Virgin Islands and the operating agreement calls for a partnership with UVI for again developing the talent and the skill and the training for our people of the Virgin Islands to be able to become a part of this growing business. Um, I'm trying to make sure I have not, oh, yes, one more important aspect under the operating agreement, Arclight must provide a minimum, I believe, of three months of fuel supply of the territory needs for the three islands that will be available through now the RAC uh, system. They will purchase it um, from their clients and make it available for sale at the wholesale rack. This will be jet fuels, gasoline, diesel, propane, uh, and other fuels so that we can do away with the importation of fuel in the territory at, with ISOs and the expensive cost that we have borne in fuel in the territory in the last year. And so it is our expectation to see the price of fuel in the territory drop as a result of that, uh, it, that access to that resource. Really within the first two to three years, and if the members are here and you will be able to question them, we believe employment will run up to about 200 uh, because of the cap improvements, the expansions, and getting all of the issues clear. Today I am going to submit to the legislature of the Virgin Islands this proposed operating agreement, and I am calling the legislature into session on the 7th December 17th to consider and append its ratification or disapproval of this proposed operating um, agreement. I want to again be very clear in thanking uh, the members of the government team, the Attorney General, uh, Linda Singer, Attorney Joe Holt, Peter Hebert, uh, Val Collins uh, for the, the work that they did uh, in putting this process together. I want to thank Arclight. I want to thank Sinopec and Freepoint for really wanting to do business in the Virgin Islands. And, and Sinopec can speak to the value of the area at the South Shore that has beyond a oil or petroleum or energy uh, piece, but now an availability for doing transshipment on the South Shore, and subsidiaries of Sinopec is very interested in how they're going to stage and put that infrastructure in place to make that happen. And so in the long term, this agreement, which is expected to go for uh, 25 years with a renewal option of 15 years, 
we believe that in the long term we are going to see substantial jobs on, uh, uh, on St. Croix. Let me point out in addition that the lease for the submerged lands at the South Shore, we had leased those lands for $1 a year uh, for the 60 years that has, um, has been here. So we got $60 worth of rent for 60 years worth of living. Um, but you know, inflation does what inflation do well. So part of this operating agreement provides that the lease for the lands and the exclusion of the permits, because the permits were in that dollar year as well. The permits here will be whatever the market value of the permits ought to be, but the lease for those submerged lands will now be $150,000 a year or $6 million for the 40 year period. As Governor of the Virgin Islands, I am happy to be able to stand before the people of the Virgin Islands with my Lieutenant Governor and present this package to you, the people of the Virgin Islands, and say to you that $800 million is a far cry from $40 million. I want to thank the 30th Legislature for projecting the ABR deal. We came into office on the premise that we would represent the interests of the territory and look out for the interests of the people of the Virgin Islands and we are committed to doing that and will continue to do that. Uh, for those persons who wish to question uh, the operating agreement, we invite you to do that. We invite proper scrutiny from the legislature and ask any questions that you may feel is important to ask. I am going to personally, uh, over the next number of weeks, make myself available on a number of uh, community talk shows that the people of the Virgin Islands can clearly ask me um, whatever questions uh, they would like to ask about this agreement. Uh, if the legislature should ratify this contract, and we have advised, I've spoken to the Senate President on a few occasions and have advised him that December 31st is a very critical date, but uh, if they are able in their wisdom to determine that they wish to ratify this operating agreement, then the COSIA will provide uh, the monies to the government that uh, I have laid out here. I want to again say to the people of the Virgin Islands, and I was told uh, not too long ago that I am the grandfather of Virgin Islands politics today, not because I'm an old man, but I do have my senior citizens card, but because I'm the oldest person in terms of time on the political stage, starting at 27. My caution to the territory, so this is not the resolution of our financial woes. We must look at this as a family that came in to some dollars, but we can't take a vacation, we can't go out and buy new clothes, we can't get everybody get a new car, and spend, 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 spend. This, a good portion, not all of this money, is pretty much accounted for in the budgets, the, the imbalance of fiscal and structural imbalances in our budget, this, these dollars will help us get through those days as we grow and build the economy. These dollars will prevent the government, used wisely, from going to the financial markets to borrow money for operating expenses for the next three to four fiscal years. That is a significant opportunity to grow the economy. Yes, this administration is on record and will commit and provide increases to the salaries of our government workers pursuant to their collective bargaining agreements, and we have said we will be doing that even before announcing these dollars. So we will continue with our obligation to make that happen. But I must caution the people of the territory that this is not a time to forget the fiscal challenges and believe that we simply have a lot of dollars, because in the, in, the, in the scheme of our government finances, while 200 million or 235 million is a good bit of cash, it's not the kind of cash we need. And so we must continue to work to grow the economy, to reduce our costs, uh, to, to have folks invest uh, in the territory and grow our revenues. And as we're able to do that, as we're able to achieve that, then we are going to be able to get our new suit, to get our new pair of shoes, to get rid of the clunker, uh, so that uh, we want to be very, very clear that we this is not play play money. This isn't squander money. Yes, Christmas is here, 
but we're going to shop with the money that was in the Christmas envelope from last week. It's not, not, this is not this year's Christmas proceeds. So um, I will now open the floor for question. 